My journey to the hunger project began way back in the 80s while I was uh, living in the ghetto. I was born and raised in the ghetto. And uh, when many of us think about the ghetto, when we hear this word, the ghetto, we already think about poverty, you think about hunger, you think about crime, you know, you think about starvation, so many pathetic things that happen in the ghetto. Whereas all these things are true, I'm so proud to call the ghetto my first home, as I will explain. The ghetto, living in the ghetto, gave me, shaped my life. And I think it was on purpose that it was preparing me for this noble role that I'm playing in the Hunger Project. While living in the ghetto with my parents and my siblings, I learned what it means to be courageous. My mother always told me to be a courageous woman, that irrespective of all the conditions that we are living in, despite the fact that we didn't have enough food to eat, despite the fact that we had to fend for ourselves and be able to defend ourselves when our parents were not there, that shaped me and gave me the courage to be able not to fear anything that comes my way, but rather to confront it and know that there is always a way out of every problem. I learned compassion while living in the ghetto. We did not have enough. We did not have enough food. We really had to struggle to be able to survive. Despite the fact that my, my father had an opportunity of taking us to fairly good schools, the other aspects of life that a young girl would enjoy were things that were really put at the sideline. But despite all this, I never saw my mother really pushing out people who came to our home for help because the whole community was, I mean, we were all living in a ghetto and we appeared to be maybe fairly, fairly, fairly better than the other people. We always had an influx of visitors, but we always shared the little we had. This was my first lesson of compassion. I learned to be very committed. I remember my mom always told me that when you're given an assignment, when you're asked to do something, do it with all your, with all the love and with all your ability, because you never know where that thing is going to take you. I had to take on some mothering roles or caretaking roles during my childhood because my parents were working out of home. So during certain instances, I would always stay at home with my siblings, being the elder girl, and take on some of these responsibilities. This taught me what it means to be committed to a role, to an assignment that has been given to you. Why am I sharing this story? Divinely, these are things that were preparing me for what I'm experiencing now, for the work I'm doing now. Little did I know that that experience growing up in the ghetto was preparing my path to come to the Hunger Project and interact with the kind of women, the kind of community that is living in the same situation that I grew up in. So I'm comfortable and confident to stand in front of them and speak to them and give them the courage and ask them to be more compassionate because I'm a living example. And when they look at me, they already feel that, yes, I think we can relate with her. So my journey to the Hunger Project was a divine, you know, it's something that I cannot explain because it is actually the moment when we go to plan for this webinar and I started thinking, what am I going to share? That some of these lessons came back live to me. So the story is so vivid that I, I'm like, you know, how could this all happen? So everything in life happened for a purpose and it's always a transformation onto the journeys that we're supposed to encounter.